In this video, we will be customizing and personalizing our Google Chrome. And I think that most of you are probably familiar with Chrome Web Store, where you can download uh, a lot of extensions. And of course, you can also add some themes. Uh, for example, here I added uh, a theme which is published by Google Chrome uh, and is called Serenity. But today we will be also taking a more focused video on new tab experience. And with that being said, today we will be using Night Tab extension, which you can also add to your Google Chrome. To see what Night Tab actually does, you will need to click plus button right here to see the new tab. And here we have the first page of the Night Tab. As you can see, we have here on the left, we have clock, and the date here we have find bookmarks or search google bar we also can change accent color let's say for example right here i will set it to the teal one and we also have the plus so we can add a new group or also a new bookmark so the new group contains new bookmarks so if you want we have also these groups which are by default uh, called cool stuff and developer sites we also have the button right here to open them all and if you want to we can also customize them if we want to so if i click right here on the right the pencil you will see that edit tab opens up and we can change a lot of things right here for example we can put this cool stuff on the bottom and uh, this developer sites on the top but I will put this one co cool stuff on the top right now as it was before. So also we can change these uh, bookmarks right here. For example, if I go to the Amazon, right? I will select the pencil again and we have here uh, a lot of settings of the specific um, bookmark. So for example, we have here a show visual element, for example, letter AZ. So for the Amazon, we can also change only to have a uh, Amazon logo and we also can have an image but i think that the default option is the better one we also have show the name option so we can disable this or enable this to show the name right now i will go to the address settings of the specific bookmark settings so address we have the basically the site which we are going to or directing to for example on on amazon we have the amazon.uk position so uh, in the existing group so we can put uh, this our amazon uh, currently to the cool stuff or even to another um, group for example to the developer site we also have the position of the bar uh, of the our bookmark so for example we can put it to which place you would like to we also can create here from here the new group and we can also uh, put uh, this amazon to the new group so in the layout themes we also have we can change visual size for example if i put it to the 40 and we also have the name size for example i will put it let's say something like 20 and it looks like that right now so we can also change visual element and name alignment we can put it at the center at the top bottom wet whichever uh, you would like on this grid specific one uh, we also have the adjust visual element position so horizontal vertical and we can also rotate it so we can also rotate this specific bookmark so it will be looked a bit rotated so for example like that so also we have here the virtual vertical and horizontal uh, alignment or arrangement and we also have the visual element then also the name and or the name then visual element for example let me show you that real quick uh, we have the name and then visual element for example the first is the name and then the logo or the visual element but i will put it back to the visual element then the name i think that the gotta is separation between the visual element and the name so if you want to you can put it a little bit closer or even you can separate them uh, even further so i will put it back to the default um if we go back to the settings right here let me show you the theme settings for this specific bookmark so we have the theme color or we can just pick another custom color which is currently set to black we also have the opacity setting right here so the, this bookmark is seen for example the background of the bookmark is currently changing right now but i will put it back to the default one which is 100 percent we also have the team accent which is accent defined by the team and we also have custom accent so whichever custom accent we would like to set it for example if i set the amazon uh, to the let's say not the dark let's say something called red let's say the red one and 
now it should look red. We also have the show the background. So display an image or video background on this bookmark title. So for example, right now it should uh, show a background. For example, I can set it uh, from the, the some specific site or also a video for the specific bookmark. We also have the opacity, same settings as before. So if we continue, let me show you further some settings for night tab. For example, you have here presets. Some of them also have a live background. For example, this one, Vanadium one has live background. We also can save current theme. We also have style or for example, we can put it to the light mode or even automatic. So it follows the system light or dark mode. We can also here change primary, primary color. We also have here accent color. Uh, we have the blue one, for example, let's say the pink one. Um, and it looks like that right now. We can also add some random random accent color on load or refresh. For example, if I put it to the pastel, I will click randomize now and it will look like that. Moving on to the font section, uh, we can also change the font of the current theme. But for example, if I click on the Google font and choose whichever font you like. For example, in, in this tutorial, I will show you that with Open Sense, which looks quite nice in my opinion. I will put it here, paste it here to the display font and right now it should change the current font on the, the default uh, theme of Night Tab. So also we have the font weight. So for example, if you want even bolder or a lighter, you can change that. User interface font, so the same settings as for the display font. We also have the radius. I think this radius setting is quite um, unique and also you can change um, so the curvature of your uh, UI. For example, if I set it to let's say something like 300, you will see that the it's really curved right now. The settings are really, really quite curved. I think this one looks quite nice. So the shadow, we can also change the shadow. The shade opacity and shade blur. Opacity, I think that this one says it all. So here we have the toolbar, bookmark, search box and open all. So currently it's set on 100 everything. I will put it just tweak a little bit settings right here and I will show you how it looks like then and or before. So let me show you that this one's right here. It looks like that right now. If you go to the background, so you can change the background uh, using accent custom color, gradient, image, or even video. So video should be in, uh, with ending on dot .mp4 and will also need to be uh, stored online, so on the web. Layout, we can also change the layout background color, currently set on transparent, and we can also choose custom color for that. For example, if I put it to the red, it should look like that. Background opacity, background blur. So we also have here divider between header and bookmark area. So we can add a simple divider between these two. So header, we can also set the header background color. We can also use the custom color for that. So on the bookmark section right here, um, we can also set it as transparent or custom color. And we can also add bookmark border. Moving on, that uh, that bookmark order border will look like that. So I think this one looks a little bit big right now. I will set it to two and this one looks nice. So right now, if I show you also if you want to use custom theme. So if we go here to the data, we have here import data. So we, will, we can uh, import the custom theme that we found on the web and downloaded it and we also can apply it right here. We can also export our theme that we just created. For example, if I click here to export data, right now, JSON file uh, is created and saved into my download files. But if I show you, let's say, how to actually see the brand new theme that I downloaded from the web. So if I click here, import data, I will go here, theme seven, which is the custom theme theme that I found on the web or their night tab uh, GitHub. I will click open right here. And as you can see, it says success. We can click here, import. And right now the team should override and it looks like that. I think this team looks quite nice in my opinion. So uh, a lot of things has changed. Uh, we, for example, we have here uh, another uh, bookmarks. Uh, without any groups. For example, it looks quite nice and we also have the clock on the right. For example, previous theme, uh, it was on the left. So if I go back to the uh, settings, 
uh, I will show you also how to reset night uh, tab uh, settings. So back to the default, for example, you will click here, clear all data and your settings should be reverted back to the default. So I will click here, clear all data. And right now it looks like the default um, night tab. So with that being said, thank you again for watching this video. Consider subscribing to this channel and also like this video. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.